Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have a look into the Ethereum price and also into a very secret altcoin that currently is outperforming everything. So make sure that you stick in here till the end my friends. This is going to be a very interesting uh, video because we're gonna start with the monthly time frame in the Bitcoin price and we're gonna start here in the BLX ticker because currently I'm seeing a lot of people getting uh, crazy because of this potential monthly close that we could have here as you can see we have this huge week towards $42,000 and currently we're trading here in the BLX ticker at around $32,000 and a lot of people currently are concerned that we could enter into a bear market because of this candle because so far as you can see during this uh, uptrend we never had such a big week to the upside and usually when we are seeing a monthly close like this with a small body and a huge week to the upside like we have seen also here when we topped out at 14,000 in uh, 2019 and of course also here in 2017 when we topped out at uh, 20,000 we started then a huge bear market which led of course into a big crash in the Bitcoin price and uh, yeah many people are concerned that we could enter in a similar phase uh, like we have seen in the last times when we had here these big weeks but I want to show you why this uh, monthly close is not too dangerous for us at least not for the long term for the short term maybe yes but for the long term Bitcoin is still looking very bullish and we are still in the phase towards $100,000 that in my opinion will get reached by the end of this year so why I think that this potential monthly close that we're gonna see here in January we still have a week left but most likely we're gonna stay here in this $30,000 area and most likely we're gonna close this monthly candle at this uh, price range here so let's wait and see of course but as it is right now 32,000 is the potential close of this month and uh, in case that we would enter into a little short-term bear market I think the possible target to be reached is here the nine monthly moving average currently at around $17,000 I don't think that we have to go necessarily that low so below 20k but as you can see this 20k area right now make, makes a lot of sense for a bearish scenario that we're gonna see a potential crash towards this 20k area and then recover back from it because also here you can see that the nine monthly moving average is exactly at $17,000 and next month of course also this moving average will be higher and why this moving average is also very important here in the monthly is if we go back into the past as you can see during these cycles that Bitcoin always have after the halving we always when we have a bigger correction come down to the nine monthly moving average as you can see we always move along this moving average until we are gonna top out somewhere but during this period after the halving until we are gonna have a blow off top we always bounce at the nine monthly moving average so as you can see every time when we had here a week to the upside in the monthly we always started to trade sideways back to the nine monthly moving average and then again bounced from it here also we had a week to the upside we came back down to the nine monthly moving average and then continue our way to the upside also here we had a few weeks to the upside and then corrected back down to the nine monthly moving average and continued our way towards 20k and this is also what I'm expecting to happen here because you cannot compare the stage that we are right now with the last two tops here because this happened during a bear market after Bitcoin completed here this cycle and we topped out here at 20k we started a bear market here for a couple of years until the next halving and then we continued to pump here and as you can see right now we are in this phase where we should reach here this 100k and potentially also go way higher so what we're seeing right now could not be the end of this cycle this could be just a beginning of a short term pull back towards a nine monthly moving average and then continue our way to the upside and we had exactly the same thing also previously here when we had huge wicks here in the monthly close 
we always came down to the nine monthly moving average and then had the big bounce to the upside. So as you can see, this monthly moving average is a very important moving average here for the long term. And usually the institutions and the big players are always looking only at the bigger time frames like the weekly or monthly. They never go into the lower time frames because they always keep an eye here into the bigger time frames because usually they have a always bigger investment horizon at least four to 10 years. And that's why this big time frames are for them very important and also for you it should be a very important time frame i know if you're trading on a daily base or if you want to try to catch bottoms then of course also the lower time frames are very important especially if you're trading over on bybit and femex with leverage because here also you can do daily trades and multiply your bitcoins if you do some nice trades over here so that's why the lower time frame is important but for the bigger picture for the bigger outlook here the monthly and the weekly are the most important time frames and in the monthly you can see that this nine monthly moving average is very important and we're gonna update this moving average also in February as soon as we're gonna have a clearly close here in the monthly because we still have one week to go and to see where we're gonna close of course the monthly candle this is going to be very important to see if we're gonna just continue to go up here or if maybe we're gonna have a correction down to the nine monthly moving average which currently is at around seventeen thousand dollar and of course also here my own indicator and the rsi is looking a bit exhausted so also here a possible pullback at least towards the 70 to 50 level in the rsi in my opinion is healthy but as you can see also here my own indicator the momentum is definitely shifted to the upside and we still are far away from a sell signal here in the monthly it is possible that we have a correction down to this important moving average but that doesn't mean that we're gonna see here a sell signal because of this possible pullback that is in the cards and now let's go back to the spot chart and open up here the weekly time frame because here once again you can see where the 9 and 20 weekly moving averages are lining up here the 9 weekly at 27,500 this is my personal target where I'm gonna start to scale in again some more longs and also buy more Bitcoin and if we go lower towards here the 20 weekly moving average currently at around 20k this is of course also where I'm gonna top up my long position and also buy even more Bitcoin because I don't think that Bitcoin will go lower than that and also the RSI currently is correcting down towards here the 70 to 50 level so I'm expecting the RSI to come all the way down towards the 50 level because we have currently this sell signal still flashing here in the weekly and if we're gonna close this weekly candle with the sell signal then the sell signal is confirmed and we should expect by next week latest in the beginning of February a possible correction down to these two moving averages before we gear up again for another big parabolic move to the upside because as I told you my friends during this cycle towards 100k I'm expecting short lift pullbacks and corrections even if it takes us down towards 20k I don't think that we're gonna stay for a very long time in this region down here because for sure a lot of people and institutions are buying as much as they can in this region down here and also if you have a look here into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we are still trading on the bullish side so we should in theory expect continuation to the upside but a retest of these two important the moving averages here between 27,000 to 20k is in the cards my friends and we can also have a look here now again into the daily time frame because as I told you as long as we are squeezing here between the 9 daily moving average and the 50 so between $34,000 to $28,700 we should expect the price to move sideways and as long as Bitcoin is trading sideways here I'm expecting the altcoins to pump at least some of them and also as you can see right now especially ethereum right now is pumping like crazy we also have some other altcoins but the show is clearly on ethereum right now because we are again approaching the all-time high very soon we're gonna have a look into the ethereum price uh, later now let's focus here in the bitcoin price so in the daily i'm still expecting here sideways movements or potentially go lower again towards twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars to maybe retest the 50 daily moving average and as long as here we don't see a breakout to the upside so taking out let's say here this high currently at around thirty seven thousand dollar i'm expecting the price to go sideways or maybe move a bit more into this lower area down here towards twenty seven to twenty five thousand dollar 
and also if you see the daily close below $28,000 that of course is also a warning sign that we will see continuation towards our next potential supports down here between $24,000 and $20K. You can also see the 200 daily moving average which slowly is coming up here towards the 20k area. Currently it is exactly at the same stage where the 9 monthly moving average is lining up also here at around $17,000. So that's why my friends we still have the chance maybe to see these prices down here again in the not so distant future and if it happens don't go and panic sell buy as much as you can because that would be really the last opportunity to buy Bitcoin at a very cheap price a little bit below 20k and if we go over into the four hour time frame here you can see that we're still trading sideways here along the 20 and 200 moving average so as long as we can close these four hour candles above the 20 and 200 moving average in theory we should expect a continuation to the upside to retest this $34,400 potentially even go up here towards $37,000 and there of course we're going to see if we're getting again rejected here or not because we could print here a potential descending triangle which of course could take us down towards 20k in case of a breakout but also we could form here a potential falling wedge so it's not yet clear what we're gonna be forming here we still need more data and price action but as it is for now I think we're just gonna start to trade sideways here and we have to wait here for a breakout before entering a trade of course you can already go now a bit long and short as long as we're trading within this range if you want to do that of course the best is to go with leverage over on Bybit or Femex if you still need an account then make sure to use my referral links down below here because with my links you support the channel and also you get some extra money if you use my invitation links and if you want to trade also with my own indicator because over on discord we have this live stream of my own indicator where you can easily do some short lift trades especially if you want to trade on a daily base then this indicator live stream is very useful next to your own ta of course if you want to get access to it then make sure to contact me over on discord the link to discord is down below here in the video description you can contact me over there to get access because a small donation is needed and otherwise you can enjoy of course our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free when you join it you just have to click here the thumbs up button to confirm that you are human and not a bot and like this then you can get access to our great chat where you can discuss a bitcoin ethereum altcoin then of course all the prime xpt co-vesting feature and so on we have a lot of uh, topics over here and uh, if you don't know prime xpt this is the place where we have this co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other traders if you want to try it out very easy and simple to set it up then make sure to use also for prime xpt my referral link down below here so currently i'm expecting the price to just move sideways we just have to wait here for the next couple of four hour closes above or below the 220 moving average which right now are, are at the same place so it's going to be very interesting to see what we're going to see in the next couple of hours but i'm expecting here in the bitcoin price most likely just some sideways movements and if you want to take some short lift trades here while we are trading sideways of course you can do that but if you want to wait for the big move then wait here for a possible breakout to the downside from the support that we have currently at around $28,000 or here if we're going to break out the resistance currently at around $37,000 to then scale in a nice long position because the breakout to the upside will clearly take us way above $42,000. So Bitcoin is still trading sideways and we have currently some nice price action going on over in the altcoins because the Bitcoin dominance is still falling off the cliffs here my friends as you can see we were just day by day falling here towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is at 63% and I think here latest at 60% we're gonna see another bounce to the upside in the Bitcoin dominance maybe then continue to go a little bit lower but overall I think we are coming very soon to an end here of this fall you can see all the RSI is coming down to oversold condition we are coming close to the 200 daily moving average and also in my own indicator we could get a buy signal very soon and that's why here I'm expecting latest at 60% a possible bounce in the Bitcoin dominance which of course would mean that a lot of money will flow back into Bitcoin because currently a lot of altcoins are pumping like 
crazy and first i just want to have a quick look into the ethereum price before i'm gonna show you this special secret altcoin that currently is going completely ham and outperforming everything also bitcoin by far and first here ethereum as you can see we are breaking out to the upside from this resistance that we had here and my target is here to reach at least this 1440 level and potentially even go higher because we still didn't met here the target of 1700 dollar from the previous breakout that we had here from this uh, $1,260 resistance. So maybe here we're gonna see a pullback towards the $1,240 level. That is of course still possible because in my own indicator we could get very soon a sell signal. Nothing is flashing or confirmed yet. But uh, if we are not able to take out this high at $1,350, we could get here a sell signal and another retest of these potential new support that we have now at around $1,230. And if we go over into the daily time frame, here also you can see that currently we are bouncing from the 20 daily moving average currently at $1,200. And as long as we can close above the 20 and 9 daily moving average, which currently is also at $1,260, we should expect Ethereum to go higher and higher. So we are seeing a lot of altcoins currently having some very nice price action while Bitcoin is just trading sideways. And I always tell you, my friends, that usually the altcoins always performs like this at the end of a cycle when Bitcoin is coming to an end before it's going to have a bigger correction. So that's why be very careful if you are invested in some altcoins. Take always some profits out, especially if you double your money. Take always half out in some cash or into Bitcoin because like this you can buy again once we're gonna see a possible bigger correction because I think if Bitcoin is gonna have a bigger correction it will take down also all the altcoins and of course if Bitcoin just gonna ignore these bearish signs and continue towards 40, 50, 60 thousand dollar then also in the altcoin space we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside so this is only if Bitcoin is gonna have a big plunge towards 27 or 20k that then the altcoins also gonna bleed potentially even way more than Bitcoin. But if the bullish scenario is going to play out that Bitcoin is just not going towards our bearish targets but will continue towards new all time highs, then of course in some of these altcoins we also gonna see huge gains my friends. And now before I gonna wrap up this video, I gonna show you a very special altcoin that currently is outperforming everything. So this is called Alpha Finance Lab. As you can see, since its inception, so since it was worth not even two cents in October 2020, till now we had an increase of around, let's measure this, 5,400% within only 110 days. So this is really amazing, my friends. And this coin is going completely parabolic. Of course, if you zoom out here in the weekly time frame, this looks like a completed hockey stick pattern. So if it is too late right now to invest, I don't know. Of course, you have missed out right now all these gains. So if you're interested in this coin, I have completely no idea about the fundamentals and everything, but the coin is completely going ham. And I think if we're gonna see here a correction towards an important support, think about about maybe also to diversify into this coin because I think in the future it has a very big potential of outperforming Bitcoin at least if we're gonna see an altcoin season so this coin is definitely a coin that I will also put in my DeFi portfolio next to some other DeFi coins because it has the chances to outperform many of these especially older altcoins so this is no financial advice but if you're interested in a very specific coin then alpha finance lab is maybe a coin for you and if you want to wait for a pullback then maybe wait till we're gonna retest the 50 cents area currently is exactly where the 20 daily moving average currently is lining up right now because we are looking currently a bit overbought and of course after such a big pump we could retrace a lot here, my friend. So be very careful if you are investing right now in this coin. Of course, it still have some more room left to the upside, but also here in the daily, we are looking completely overbought and the pullback will come and potentially it's gonna be a big pullback. 
and this area down here between 25 to 50 cents is a very important support area to behold because also here you can see in the daily that we had previously a lot of resistance here at 25 cents then again here at around 50 cents so if we're coming down it will be important to test and confirm these important supports down here and i think if we're going to have a pullback this would be a great buy opportunity here if we're going to see such a pullback so if you're interested in investing in this coin then maybe start to dca starting from around 50 cents down to 25 cents if bitcoin is going to have a major crash and it will take down almost all of these altcoins then most likely also this one will be a great buy opportunity if we have such a correction down to those level and this is the alpha to us dollar tether pair if we go over to the bitcoin pair you can see that also it outperformed bitcoin and that's why my friends this could be one of these secret altcoins that will perform very well in the not so distant future so if you are also diversifying into some altcoins then make sure that you keep an eye also into this altcoin alpha finance lab and all these altcoins if you want to diversify into them you can buy and sell them over on binance so if you still don't have a binance account use my referral link down below here because here you can buy all the cryptos that you want and next to that if you're keeping your cryptos here you have these flexible savings options here it has no fees nothing for all the cryptos that you're keeping here on binance you can get interest here and you will get paid daily so if you for example hold some us dollar tether you can just keep it here without paying fees anything you will get six percent every seven days but of course you will get paid daily so just keeping your cryptos here on binance automatically will give you also some passive money so like this you can also multiply your cryptos very easy without doing anything and you can see we have many altcoins that you can just keep here and transfer to the savings account you can always redeem it so there is no fee no locking time nothing you can at any time redeem these cryptos that you transfer in your savings account you can also let it auto transfer once you deposit here those coins this is also what i'm doing in order to get some passive money here in the crypto space so what you get here in interest usually is way way more than the interest that you get in a bank account so there is no need to cash out your fiat into your bank account where you don't get anything you just put it here on binance for example in us dollar tether and you get six percent interest so once we're gonna have a big drop in the bitcoin price you can buy even more cryptos like that so try it out my friends and also let me know what you think about it here in the comment section or let me know over in discord if you're also using this savings feature over on Binance and keep in mind that all links to register to those exchanges that I'm also using you find all down below here in the video description so take advantage of this extra bonus if you use my invitation links down below those are all the exchanges that I'm also using and feel free to join me also over on Twitch and of course over on Discord and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now let me know what are you thinking are we gonna see this big huge crash towards 20k in the Bitcoin price and take down all the old coins with it or are we just gonna ignore these bearish signs and continue our bull trend towards hundred thousand dollar and higher let me know down in the comment section or over on discord thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye